Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Can we guess how hard this cataract is? White cataracts can be soft, can be very hard. Let us see how this cataract is. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and this is a sideboard on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Underneath this air bubble over the anterior capsule, tripan blue dye is applied to get contrast during capsular excess. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. The dye is nicely washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose that is HPMC is used as the viscoelastic substance. And now as I make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule, there is some milky fluid coming out, which means this is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. I aspirate some milky fluid and then inject some more HPMC and now to aspirate some more milky fluid. What I do is I convert the puncture into a small rexis first because the capsule may run to periphery if we do not do this. And now I aspirate the milky fluid as well as some cortical matter to decrease the intralenticular pressure. And we can see the nucleus. It is a very hard grade 5 nucleus sclerosis. And now a small cut is given at the margin of the small rexis. Uterata forceps is taken again and the mini rexis is enlarged to an adequate size to rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now, now I am going to manage this nucleus by my technique which I call submarine chop. The fecal needle goes in some superficial lens matter is removed so that you can judge the depth of the fecal needle inside the nucleus. And now the bevel is up towards the cornea, nucleus is pushed a little down, the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped. A nice crack is achieved. I rotate the nucleus 180 degree, sculpt go to deeper plane and separate the two heminuclei completely. Now each heminucleus is subdivided into two large pieces. Rotate, go to the other heminucleus, divide this heminucleus also into two large fragments. And now each fragment, each quadrant is tilted and emulsification of these quadrants are started from the apex. Ultrasonic energy being used is 85 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is an Oatly Catrix 3 vacuum machine. 
the microscope is OMS 90 from Topcon. I have no financial interest in any of these products. Two quadrants have been removed. This is the third quadrant. Emulsification is started from the apex because there is a remote chance that the piece may, the apex may hit the posterior capsule and the posterior capsule may give way. So, I always tilt and start emulsifying the piece from the apex. Now, I am going to FECO 3, increase the power to about 80 percent, flow rate is 25, vacuum is 250 and this last piece is being emulsified. I can see that the posterior capsule is far behind, there is no forward movement of the posterior capsule. So, I am going to emulsify this piece in a low vacuum, low flow rate and I need not employ the IOL scaffold technique in this case. Done. Some nuclear bits are removed through the side port. I have made only one side port. Size of this side port is about 1.5 6 to 1.8 millimeter so that a 23 gauze simco can go in i have made only one side port and the side port is about 3 clock hours away from the main incision so astigmatism produced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by this slightly large side port the simco goes through the side port and the sub incisional cortex can be easily removed. So, the nucleus has been nicely managed and now in this case a sensor one lens from Johnson and Johnson is being implanted. I am enlarging the main own little bit size of the own becomes about 2.9 or 3 millimeter and now here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is also placed in the bag. And now to check whether the haptics are in the bag or not, I use a Sinsky hook and I find that the both the haptics are in the capsular bag. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. Now this is final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely lavaged. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. It is formed in this way. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of mox is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.